Yo, man, so ever since Primetime has decided to leave Jackson State University and go to a PWI Colorado University, people have been on his ass. Now, he has been a punch bag for so many and so many discussions. They nitpicking every single thing he says because they like, OK, bro, you done been in you with you from within. You left us. And let's see how you act around them other folks, them clear folks, you feel me? The oh, hey people. So what recently happened that he was on a Rich Eisen show and he was speaking about recruiting and some decisions that he make in regards to looking for a great quarterback versus looking for a great defensive player like a defensive end. And this is what he had to say on the Rich Eisen show right here. Quarterbacks are different. Yeah. We want mother, father, you know, dual parent. Mm -hmm. We want that kid to be three, five and up because he's got to be smart. Mm -hmm. um, not bad decisions off the field. Uh, at all mm -hmm. because he has to be a leader of men it's so many different attributes and what we look for uh physical i mean offensive line my defense line is totally opposite what do you mean single mama <laughs> 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 wow. trying to get it uh, he's on free lunch i mean like uh, uh, i mean i'm talking about just trying to make it he's trying to rescue mama like mama barely made the flight now you heard that and um it makes sense to me as a football former football player and someone who loves football it makes sense to me i understand what he's saying now other people looking in so this lady right here says so not about the person's passion drive determination not how hard not how to work hard and sure nothing gets in their way i'm sure plenty of athletes come from a single parent household and that didn't stop them people always put down others in front of other races but why they didn't have to say that now this person must not pay attention to sports because she didn't understand that um he's saying that he wants single parent athletes for defensive players because of the aggression that person have the passion the drive the determination that this person may have fits better for defensive players it's just a different mentality that he's referring to. So this lady right here says, I dated a football coach and understanding the responsibilities for each position, I get what he mean. It sound harsh, but I get it. This lady right here says he's only speaking exactly what he knows being a former athlete. Let's just be honest. We are hungrier when it's just us and mom. We are hungrier when we're trying to make it out the hood. I'm speaking for myself. Truth be told, people are really just mad he left the black college for the white one. Facts. There's a war on single mothers and it's sad. Shout out to single mothers that has raised or are raising very successful and respectful kids. We're the real MVPs, keep going. Everyone keep forgetting that he came from a single parent household and went through the same shit as a player. This shit has been going on for decades, but the only issue is that Dion always been honest and open about how it goes when it comes to college sports. The narrative around single moms versus two parent households is so inaccurate. Considering the high divorce rate, it's a lot of unhappy, unhappy two parent homes out here raising children in unhealthy environments equivalent to what people perceive is happening in single parents homes. He's probably the only coach who can say this and get away with it. All right, so the last two comments, um, stuff like this irritates me so bad. It's classism essentially because he knows the stats. He wants the poorest people with the least resources at the hardest positions with the least protection whose job is to protect the most already insulated people with the most privilege. It's America played on the field, basically. Okay. And this guy right here says, see, this is why I didn't play football because I didn't want them hungry defensive, defensive linemen tackling me. Can't argue with a Hall of Fame football player who knows what it takes to win championships and arguably the um best athlete best football player of all time arguably you know but once again my thoughts on the situation is being a former football player and an avid football lover this makes all the most sense to me that's why a lot of people um a lot of conversations is not meant for everybody to listen in on if they're not looking looking at things from the right perspective because they're going to try to go ahead and flip things for their own agendas that they want to speak on some things you just don't want to hear a lot of conversations that are happening behind the scenes you don't want to hear as far as what goes into decision making for so many different things so many different things but once again these are like you know just some if you want to say some shit about some shit these are starting parameters when it comes to looking for athletes it's definitely if you find an athlete that's out here putting putting up amazing numbers putting up amazing numbers at whatever set position you're going to go ahead and look into that kid's background and just see from that point you're going to start from that point and you will make exceptions based on that person's talents but if you want to go ahead and just start off start off with some parameters to make the decision these may be things that you use to make your decision this is um Dion telling the truth as far as what he uses. Dion don't even like looking at an athlete that has calves 
I heard that in the past. Dion feel like you got calves. You're not athletic. You feel me? No calves mean athletic. You feel me? So it's certain things that people may say that help them, you know, have a hunch, help their hunch for finding good athletes. But all in all, if someone produces, they do their thing, you're going to get looked at. They're going to look into you. So no matter what your situation may be, your circumstances as far as like what's going on in your life, you still have a chance as long as you work hard. You still got a chance. So don't let anything discourage you, you know, especially things that you cannot control. Focus on what you can't control, you know. But I'm interested in hearing what y'all got to say in the comment section below. I'm going to go in and get up out of here, though. It's your boy, Stacey. Yo.